Good morning, Proud Panthers. How are you doing this morning? Good. Awesome. Good morning, young lady. Here at El Dorado, every morning, 550 students arrive from preschool through sixth grade. Good morning, buddy. My name is Katie Kodash, the proud principal of El Dorado Elementary. And one of the most amazing things about this school is that we have the opportunity to meet the needs of the whole child. It's definitely the whole child that we're looking after. From the moment that they walk up onto our property or are dropped off by the bus, to the moment that we say goodbye and wave to them as they head out for the day. Safety and security is paramount to us at El Dorado. If we don't provide a safe, secure environment to our children, if we don't meet them um, in a place where they can feel safe and secure, emotionally, psychologically, socially, they're never going to be open to learn. From making sure that um, we greet people at the door to ensure that they are the right people to come in and spend time with our children, from making sure that our building is secure. We need to look after that whole child and not just one part of them, not just look at them as a number, but a, a, a citizen of El Dorado and of the greater Highlands Ranch community. We talk about the whole child as being um, physically, intellectually, socially, and emotionally, and we recognize that every child here requires um, engagement and the opportunities to be curious. So when you put that box on top of that box, what is it going to make? It's going to make the, the box is bigger. If you walk into a classroom, you might see the teacher working with a small group at a table. You might see an educational assistant working at another table. You might see a mom working on paragraph writing. Well, I think it benefits your own kids uh, so they can see you. They know that you're involved with their education. It also benefits the other kids in the class because when they see you in the hall, they know that I'm someone approachable and safe to come to. The more that we can get adults who are invested in the community and in their children's education into our school, the better we are and the better able we are to meet those kids' needs. We have a window of seven years where we are able to tap into so much of the child and we want to be able to provide opportunities for all of them. I truly believe that every ch child has differences that make that child unique and special and that we need to harness those in each of our kids. I spent 15 years at the middle and high school level um, recognizing the importance of where our students are going and what they require to be highly successful graduates, either going into the world of work or going into college. And to be given the opportunity to come to the beginning of where that story starts is an absolute gift. And to hear that from the administrative level, to know that that is our school's philosophy and that parents are on board with that, that teachers are on board with that, that we can see children move along in every aspect of their lives because we are tuned in to how they develop physically, socially, emotionally, intellectually. Perfect. That was one of the key factors that brought me to El Dorado and that's one of the key factors that makes me happy to do my job every day. So today I want to talk about how does being a good friend affect our classroom? Students start their day with Pride, which is a school wellness framework that we wrote specifically for El Dorado. When you're a good friend in our class, how does it help your classmates? It incorporates the district wellness program with topics that we know will inspire children. We are giving them an opportunity to experience multiple different disciplines. We're giving them a chance to experience cross-curricular disciplines where they may be learning a unit but from multiple different perspectives, where they're looking at science and they're embedding language arts and they're embedding social studies and they're recognizing the history of something or um, the geography and how that builds in. The desk has two silver legs, love it. We we know that our students learn differently today. We know that our students have access to the globe through iPads, through Chromebooks, through laptops, through their smart technology, smartphones. So we need to ensure that they have access to those same tools here. Those tools allow them to see how the concepts that they learn in a classroom impact the rest of the world. I like the way um, we just all work together. They need to know how to collaborate and communicate and think critically and be creative because those are the four key skills that have been identified by colleges and places of work. Students are working together as teams to um, decide on the things that they're going to write about. We're learning how to do math, reading, write, writing and par paragraphs. They're also really working on their communication because they're talking with each other to figure out those ideas and just working together as a team. Well, we all got to build something together. They're working on problem solving. So putting them in those situations that, oh, you know what, I noticed that this person wasn't, wasn't listening to me. How can I fix that? So the ultimate goal would be problem solving and getting ready for the real world. How do they solve problems in the world with the group? 
We really know how to celebrate our community and bring people together. El Dorado is such a great neighborhood school. It really feels like a community. It feels like a neighborhood school and <laughs> I get choked up talking about it. We become each other's family. And when something good happens, we celebrate with each other. And when something bad happens, we help each other out and pick each other up. We have active involvement with the Watchdogs, which is uh, an organization of dads of great students, that's what DOG stands for, where they come around and basically look after the school and help us to provide extra eyes as we go throughout our day. When I think of El Dorado as the neighborhood school of choice, I think of the legend of El Dorado. And El Dorado was the city of gold. And we believe as educators at this school that this school kind of needs to be like the school of gold for children so that they feel incredibly valued when they come in here and that we put their interests before any other interests. It's such a wonderful school. I've been so blessed to have three kids attended and uh, the staff is just wonderful. In order to be successful at middle school and high school, have the best possible opportunities to go on to college, maybe a college in a different country, um, it starts here at El Dorado. Mm -hmm.